Hey, what's up guys? I'm about to make a mushroom and I'm gonna sculpt it. So just check it out. I'm starting with the default cube. Switch to edit mode and just grabbing the face on top, okay? I'm gonna hit S and make it a little smaller. Hit the letter E, extrude, scale, extrude, scale, extrude just a little bit and scale it way bigger. Extrude just a little bit more Extrude it way bigger, extrude a little more, extrude and make it smaller. And look at that, we got like a real low poly mushroom, perfect. Okay, check this out. If I go to the wrench modifier menu and I add a subdivision surface modifier, of course, you know what's gonna happen. It's not gonna look as angular because what it does is it averages the per the position of those vertex points, okay? Now, when I switch to edit mode, you'll see a cage showing the original low poly version. And I'm just gonna increase the viewports here to make it way more smooth. And watch what happens when I hover over these vertical, um, these vertical edges on the base and I hit Control R. Control R will insert an edge loop. And when I confirm that I want one edge loop, watch what happens as I slide this edge loop towards the bottom. The closer I get, the sharper the base gets, the sharper the corners get. Okay, really important. And let's count here. I'm gonna to switch to edge mode and I'm counting one edge, two edge. When you want a sharp corner, you need three edges. All right, I need a third edge. So I've got one edge selected up here. I've got the second edge right in the middle and I need a third one on the other side of the corner. So how do I do that? Well, I could just switch to face mode and select this bottom face and I'm gonna hit the letter I to inset it. Okay, when I hit the letter I to inset, it creates, it extrudes a face, scales it down and that gives me my third edge here. Okay, I know you guys probably can't really tell so let me disable this modifier. And what we've got here is three edges to define a sharp corner. Okay, I hope you guys can see it better from this angle. One edge, two edge, three edge. All right, one edge, two edge, three edge. That's how you define a sharp corner. All right, so let me click on this real time monitor button over on top of my subdivision surface modifier. Okay, that's the, that's the button that allows you to enable and disable your modifier. So I'm re-enabling it. You can see it's really smooth, except for the sharp corner down here because I created three edges here that are really, really close together. Three edges help define a sharp corner. And that's how, that's how I smooth everything out except for the areas I, I define the corners that I want. And I could always right click and choose shade smooth in object mode and that's gonna make it look really smooth. Okay, now I'm gonna, I'm just gonna jump into sculpt, sculpting mode and I wanna showcase a really quick way to put some detail onto something. Let me turn off symmetry. And I'm gonna drag my tool panel out a little bit more when you drag it out a little bit more, you get to see all the tools side by side in two columns. But if I drag it out even more, you get to see the whole list with names on them. Okay, I, I prefer to see with names as a teacher because I can kind of call out, call out the brushes that I'm using and people can read and see which ones I'm using because some of these icons are hard to see. All right, I'm gonna hit the letter M. If I scroll all the way down, you can see that M will activate my mask brush. And of course, when you're using a mask brush, I highly recommend increasing your strength all the way up. And I'm still using my mouse. Of course, if you have a tablet, you could use your tablet. And using the letter F, I can, uh, I can make my mask, um, mask brush a lot bigger. Let's see, I can't really see what's going on here. So I'm going to choose a different color mat cap, okay. And I want to just draw a mask on here. Let's see, let me switch back to layout here. It is selected. Okay. Just apply the subdivision surface modifier. Okay, 
and I'm drawing my mask on here with a high strength brush. Okay, that's kind of low res. Uh, I'm going to shrink it down a little more. Okay, I'm just going to make some small black dots. All right, of course my my Mushroom, even though it had a subdivision surface modifier, it's really low polygon. So these <laughs> these spots look really low res, okay? Um, you know what? I'm kind of embarrassed about that. Let me just hit Alt-M and clear my mask. And I'm going to switch back to layout. And I might as well subdivide it one more time. Subdivision surface modifier. Let's give it another subdivision, apply it, and that's way more detail, okay? That's way more detail. Switching back to sculpt mode, I'm activating my mask tool, and now when I draw a little dot, it really does look like a real circle, okay? I'm just gonna draw some dots here, and maybe I'll hit F and make my brush size a little smaller, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of a squiggle here on the side. Okay, that's good enough for now. I just want to show something here. Now that I've got some masks, imagine putting masking tape uh, all over a model and then spray painting it. And then you peel off the masking tape. Well, then you'll have some areas that were not painted. I'm going to do something really similar. These, these spots represent areas that have been masking taped. So I'm going to invert that mask. I'm going to hit Control I. And now it's like I masked out the whole entire mushroom except for these spots. All right, if I scroll all the way down, there's an icon over here that looks like a, kind of like a blue ghost popping out of a, a eggshell or something. It's called mesh filter. And when I activate mesh filter, there's a, it's set on inflate. And I'm just gonna click and drag. And that just bumped everything out, okay? I think the, the easier tool to demonstrate on, let me just hit undo and everything goes back to normal. It might be easier for me to simply highlight and activate the inflate tool, bump up my strength, hit F to increase my brush size and just click and drag over the top of some of these areas. Okay, so if I just do a quick quick stroke over some of these unmasked areas, I'll make them get bumped out. Okay, I'm kind of just raising the geometry a little bit. Using the mesh filter lets you just kind of equally increase the, the inflation evenly on all vertex points. Now that I created a little bit of a bump, I'll just hit Alt-M to clear out my mask. And those bumps are, have now, they now remain. All right, you can imagine if you spent a little bit more time, how much detail you could put onto this basic mushroom that you just started building with a cube. All right, try this out.